Welcome and welcome back to Scorpio Tiger's Tarot. I'm Scorpio Tiger. I'm here to do the weekly reading for the sign of Pisces. I hope everyone had a wonderful weekend and your week is going great. Let's get right into this. This is a general reading, so take what resonates, leave the rest, and you already know what to do. Love shows up, reverse the roles as needed. Pisces, your overall energy is the Two of Cups. That twin flame love. I love that. You're going to have a loving week on. What's going on with the Pisces Collective? Those that have subscribed to the channel, those who like our videos and share our videos, thank you so much. And those that are divinely guided to our channel, welcome. What's going on with the Pisces? Look at you showing up to your own reading. Okay, something about the end for something new to begin. Okay, what's going on with the Pisces Collective this week of August the 6th, 2023? Or whenever they are guided to this channel. All right, at the bottom of the deck, we got the Seven of Pentacles. We got the Death, the Moon, Seven of Cups, and the King of Pentacles. It looks like you're putting an end to something, Pisces, and you're ready to go down a whole new path, and you're looking at all your options, okay? And it's like, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's about the business. Let's clarify. Why is this Death card here for the Pisces Collective? Why is this Death card here for the Pisces Collective? Going on with Pisces. Thank you. Yeah, you're going down a brand new beginning. You're doing what's right for you. Good stuff. Mm hmm. Yes, you are. You're thinking about everything that brings you joy. Mm hmm. That's how you're setting up your plan. The moon. Why is this here? Piscean energy. Why is the moon here? It's <laughs> definitely. It came right back out. <laughs> you're setting up your plan. Okay, you strategize and you think about um, what is the best option for you when you when you uh, make this move or transition or whatever you're doing. You're, you're, you're really putting a lot of effort into doing this the right way. Okay? Yes, you are. Good stuff. You're going to get everything you wish for and joy. Good stuff. The Seven of Cups. Why is this... Why the two of swords come out? Give us one more, please. Further clarify. Thank you. One more. One more. Oh my, I didn't want to see that. Okay. You're about to communicate that you no longer want this relationship because you want to focus on your money and you're going to walk away from this person. That's what um, that's what's coming through. Yeah, you're going to cut them off because you need to focus on your bread. That's what I'm seeing. Yeah. You need, to, you need to focus on your bread and get your wish fulfillment. That's what you're going to tell this person. The king of pentacles says you want to be about your business. You're trying to get your money up. How are you going to start a business? Mm -hmm. That's the king of pentacles here. For the Pisces collective. Yep, you want to have a successful business. You want to be, you want success. This is what you want. And you're going to tell this person, although you love them, we know this, although you love them, you need to release them so that you can go achieve what it is that you desire, so that you can have personal, uh, personal, uh, what do you call it, personal satisfaction in your life. You know, because we, we all know life isn't all about relationships, you know what I mean? It's nice to have it, but it's not always about that. Personal fulfillment is what I thank you, Spirit. So you're going to move on and focus on your goals. I can't make these cards up. Anything else for the Pisces Collective? I commend you. For real. I told my son the same thing. I said, you know what? A bird makes his nest before it, get, before it go get a bird, uh, a wife, before it go get a female. It, it, it travels around, does all the work. 
builds the biggest and best nest in the neighborhood and then starts chirping like, come on in. Who want to be my mate? And they be with them for the rest of their life. That's because the bird is happy and content in what it, the work that it's put in. How do you be in a relationship with somebody and talk about marriage when you in, you just fresh out of high school or college and you ain't got no money? That's why a lot of them relationships don't even work. You got, to, as a man, I'm talking to a male energy, a masculine energy. When you go, when you decide you want to, you, once you get yourself established, that's when you go get getting them commitments. Ain't nothing wrong with having a little girlfriend, a little plaything, or whatever you're doing. But it is you need to have your money right. You, you a man ain't got no business having a woman if his money ain't right. Go get the house, go get the car, get all that, and then bring someone in to bring in that feminine and that loving energy into your into your nest. That's how you do it. You don't you don't do it backwards. That ain't that's just gonna be a recipe for disaster. You're gonna have baby mamas and 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 all kind of stuff, and everybody mad at you because you didn't take care of yourself first, Pisces. And that's any man that's watching. And you men take care of yourself first. Then go get then make a commitment like that. Then get married to somebody. Don't be doing that stuff. Don't don't do that before you get yourself established because you're gonna end up resenting that person and you're gonna you could end up resenting them and hating them because you didn't achieve your goals in your life trying to make that person happy. Take care of you first. I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all know how I get preachy. I'm just saying. That's what this reading is all about. You have decided I'm cutting them off. I got, I got stuff to do. And it don't mean you, you, you love them any less. It does not mean you don't love them. It just means that you know as a man you got to go get your stuff together. Facts. You're going to go be successful. You're going to be popular. Okay? You're going to have success. When you make this move, whatever this is, you're going to have success. Yeah, you're going to miss them when you leave. Yeah, you're going to miss them. But you're doing what's right. Okay? And that card also talks about how you're not happy in a relationship right now anyway. That's why you're getting out. The Five of Cups. It talks about you being unhappy in your relationship. That's why you're getting out. Yeah. Yeah, you feel off balance. This relationship makes you feel off balance. You need to be balanced in order to, to make it out here in this world. You know what I mean? When you're dealing with the higher ups, you got to, you got to, you got to be balanced. You, you can't have no problems or arguments at home. You can't be dealing with them and all their emotions. When you're trying to manage and, and, and control and deal with your emotions for dealing with the people... That's over you. Your, your bosses and, and colleagues and, and everything. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry. I'm going to stop preaching. But you, you don't need all that all that extra stuff. That's why you live by yourself when you're trying to get your stuff together. Live by yourself even if you're sleeping on the floor. You live by yourself and, and you, you at least your thoughts are clear and you can focus on your job and, and, and the goals that you're trying to achieve. <sighs> I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> Your ancestors watching over you, huh? And they just love on yourself. That's what it's telling you. You need to focus and, 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 and nurture yourself. You ain't got time for no arguing and stuff with nobody at home when you got to do, when you're fighting the world out there, trying to make it out there. You, you don't need to come home to no arguments, no fighting and stuff. And they talk about some stuff. You, your mind ain't even on that. Your mind, your mind is on your bag. Your mind's on your bag. But they want to be fussing and fighting all the time. That's, that's, that's extra negative energy you don't need in your life, Pisces. I'm telling you. All bad. Yeah. You might regret leaving them, but this person was probably just a karmic anyway. This is karmic energy. You love them, but you got to go. Because you, you're not happy. Within yourself, and you got to be happy within yourself, and you're not going to be no good to nobody. <laughs> My goodness, yeah, go ahead and walk away, because the person probably lying and cheating on you anyway. This is the card of lying, cheating, sneaking, just devious energy. They're probably cheating on you anyway. Just go ahead and go. Take care of your business. Man, you don't need all that extra stress. Cause I can, I can, I can feel the, the focus and determination in this, in this reading, Pisces, that you're trying to achieve something here. Yeah, focus on you. 
It's time to be alone. That's what this card is all about. Be alone. Focus on you. Do your work. Get your bag. It's time to get your bag. Whether you're a man or a female. And that's, this is what this is talking about. But that was just a message for the masculines. What I was talking about. Yes, it, sometimes you just need to be out here. Single. This could also be saying that you're finishing what you started. You're going to lead them so you go finish what you started. Trying to build your empire. Trying to get your bag tight. Probably You probably thwarted off your whole, uh, whole uh, track because you was trying to appease them. Trying to make them happy. You don't do that to yourself. Don't do that to yourself. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's time to, to, to uh, communicate this clearly to this person. Cut them off and move forward. You got stuff to do. You need to stand in your power. Stand in your power. Especially as a man. Stand in your power and get out of here. Yeah, it's going to hurt, but it's going to be over. The hard part is over. Mm-hmm. Get away from that nagger. Nobody want to hear all that when you're dealing with them people all day. And then, you, then you come home and you got to deal with that dumb stuff. And you're trying to, trying to, trying to stay focused on what on the, on, the, on, the, on the bag. It just don't make sense. Shut up. <laughs> oh, my goodness. My spirit guys are completely bad. But, yeah, I don't know if they were telling me to shut up. But if they told me to say that out loud, baby, they telling me to shut up. <laughs> but it's the truth, though. Ooh. Yeah, flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy. Yeah. Go out there and find somebody just to fulfill the needs. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but when I said shut up, I was talking about that person that they coming home to. And they keep on talking about who they out there messing with when they ain't they mind ain't even on that. How about you cook them something to eat? How about that? Cook a real meal. How about that? Not no fast food. How about that? Rub they back. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Yeah. This is your red flag. Yeah, Pisces don't want to let that person go. So Pisces know that they... You, you know that you know that that's what you got to do in order to get to the next level in what you're trying to do. Yeah, and the sex might be the bomb. And you're too good for me. Raise your vibration. Okay, so they think that you're too good for them Pisces anyway. Time to go. Separate, separate ways. I can't make this stuff up. Mm. <sighs> mask off the true self is being projected to the world that's right and you're going to you're going to tell them in no uncertain terms i got stuff i'm trying to do and you don't bring nothing but negativity to my to me i got to go because i got stuff i'm trying to do mm -hmm. ask your question pisces ask your question so we can get out of here yeah I can tell that you love this person, though. I see the love, but you just ain't got you. You want to be successful, and and they're they're holding you back. All right, or they're making it hard for you. Any answers for the Pisces collector? They're making it harder for you, so you rather just be single. That's what I just heard. <laughs> Got goosebumps too. <laughs> hey, that's your song, Pisces. You said, I want to be rich. Yep. I told you to let go. Whatever you, whatever question you ask, it says let go. I'm sorry I, I went into full preach mode on y'all, but somebody need to hear it. Hmm. No, with an exclamation point. Pisces, I'm not preaching no more. You guys 
good luck with this. Okay, I said my piece. Just think of yourself as that bird. You gotta go build your nest. Go build your nest first. Then talk about being in a relationship, marriage or cohabitation or whatever y'all doing these days. Y'all. Good luck, Pisces. I'm gonna take you, I'm gonna talk to y'all later. Have a great week.